The rational root theorem is used to find the rational solutions of a polynomial equation. For example, we have to find all the roots of x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 4. From the word itself, rational, it means that the roots will come from a ratio, which is p over q, wherein p will come from the factors of the constant. while the denominator q will come from the factors of the lead coefficient or the term with the highest degree. So from the given polynomial, the constant is negative 4 and the lead coefficient is from x cubed. It means for the numerator, we have to get the factors of negative 4. So negative 4, the factors of this can be negative 1 times 4 or positive 1 times negative 4 or it can also be negative 2 times positive 2. Let us write this in the numerator. Pagsamahin na natin. So halimbawa, itong 1, positive at saka negative. We may write that as positive and negative 1, followed by positive and negative 4. So let's write positive and negative 4. And also we have positive and negative 2. Now, for the denominator, which will come from the lead coefficient, so dito yan manggagaling sa x cubed, and ang coefficient niya, hindi natin nakikita. Kapag ganun, ibig sabihin meron siyang 1 as the numerical coefficient. So, ang factors ng 1, it can be 1 times 1 or negative 1 times negative 1. It means, ang denominator natin ay magiging positive and negative 1. Now, so dito na manggagaling yung ating mga possible rational roots, i-simplify muna natin. So, i-divide lang natin yung bawat factor na yan sa denominator na positive and negative 1. So, positive and negative 1 divided by positive and negative 1, that will be positive and negative 1. Same with this one. Positive and negative 4, pag dinivide sa 1, positive and negative 4 yung kakalabasan. And for the last one, positive and negative 2, yun pa rin yun, no? Divided by 1, positive and negative 2. Now, eto na yung mga possible roots ng polynomial na ito. Now, how will we know which of these are really roots or zeros of this polynomial? So, ang gagamitin nating method ay substitution. Itatry natin ang bawat isang possible root para mag-substitute dito sa polynomial na ito. So, let's try. Magsimula muna tayo sa positive and negative 1. Sulat lang natin. P of positive 1. Then, ilagay na din muna natin yung iba. So, P of positive 1. P of negative 1. Then, after that, we have positive and negative 4. So, P of positive 4. Then, lagay natin sa kabila yung P of negative 4. Then, we have positive and negative 2. So, P of positive 2. And P of negative 2. Simulan natin dito. So, ang gagawin lang natin, lahat ng mga variable na x, papalitan natin ng positive 1. Ang goal natin dito, para malaman kung ano ang roots or zeros of this given polynomial, dapat ang maging resulta niya or maging answer niya ay 0. So, kapag 0 yung lumabas na sagot, ibig sabihin, isa siya sa mga roots ng polynomial na ito. Kaya nga, ang roots, ang tawag din sa kanya ay 0 of a polynomial. Now, Simulan natin dito, P of positive 1. So, palitan lang natin yung mga variable ng 1. It will be x cubed magiging 1 cubed followed by x square, so magiging positive 1 square. Then, negative 4x magiging negative 4 times yung x, papalitan na din natin ng positive 1. Then, copy negative 4. Then, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa iba. So, isubstitute na muna natin lahat. So, P of negative 1, ganun pa rin. Dito pa rin tayo titingin. So, magiging negative 1 cube followed by negative 1 square. So, ito yon. Then, minus 4x magiging minus 4 times negative 1. Then, copy negative 4. Then, continue. Dito naman sa positive 4. So, it will become 4 cube, then positive x square magiging positive 4 square, then minus 4x, so minus 4 times 4, 
then copy the constant negative 4. Well, here we have negative 4, so it will be negative 4 cube. Then plus x square magiging negative 4 square followed by negative 4 times x, so times negative 4. Then copy the constant minus 4. Then this one, positive 2, it will be positive 2 cube. Then plus positive 2 square followed by minus 4 times positive 2. And then minus 4. Alright. And the last one, negative 2, so it will be negative 2 cube plus negative 2 square minus 4. 4 times negative 2 minus 4. Now, isolve na natin isa-isa. Kapag 0 ang kinalabasan, ibig sabihin, isa na yon sa mga roots ng ating polynomial. So, dito muna tayo magsimula. 1 cube, it means 1 times 1 times 1. So, 1 times 1 is 1, times another 1, that will be equal to 1. Plus, 1 square. So, 1 square is just 1 times 1, 1 pa rin yun. Then, negative 4 times 1, that's negative 4. And just copy, minus 4. Now, let's solve. So, dito muna tayo, 1 plus 1, that's 2. So, that is 2. And then, minus 4. 2 minus 4, that will be negative 2. Minus another 4. So, negative 2 minus 4, your answer will be negative 6. Alright. Now, let's proceed with this one. Negative 1 cubed. So, negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1, that's positive 1. Times another negative 1, magiging negative yung sagot. So, negative 1. Then, negative 1 square, so negative 1 times negative 1 lang yan. Magiging positive naman yung answer. Then, this one, negative 4 times negative 1. Kapag nag-multiply kayo ng dalawang negative numbers, magiging positive na yung answer. So, it will be positive 4. Then, copy, negative 4. Now, solve. So, negative 1 plus 1, that's 0. Then, positive 4 minus 4, 0 na din. So, wala na matitira. Ibig sabihin, the answer is just 0. Okay, since 0 yung answer na to, ibig sabihin itong negative 1 ay isa sa mga roots ng polynomial na given. So, yung iba, ang ginagawa nila kapag nakuha na yung isang root, Gumagamit na sila ng synthetic division para hanapin pa yung dalawang natitira. Pero ang ipapakita ko dito ay substitution. So, itutuloy natin to hanggang sa mahanap natin yung iba pang zeros. Okay, so proceed na tayo dito sa pangatlo. 4 cube. So, that's 4 times 4 times 4. That is equal to 64. Then, 4 square is 4 times 4. That's positive 16. Then, negative 4 times positive 4. That's negative 16. Copy, negative 4. Then, combine. As you can see, meron tayong positive and negative 16 dito. Pwede na natin silang i-cancel kasi magiging 0 na yan. So, matitira 64 minus 4 and that is equal to positive 60. Next, dito tayo. Negative 4 cube. So, that will be negative 4 times negative 4. That's positive 16. Times another negative 4 magiging negative 64. Then, negative 4 squared, that's negative 4 times negative 4. It will be positive 16. Negative 4 times negative 4 ulit. Dalawang negative, so positive pa rin yan. And it will be positive 16. Then, copy negative 4. Now, solve. Negative 64 plus 16. So, magkaiba ng sign, kaya kailangan mag-subtract. That will be negative 48. Plus another 16, so plus 16. Different sign pa rin, so magsusubtract pa rin tayo dyan. Magiging negative 32. Then last term, minus 4. Negative 32 minus 4, pares negative. So yung answer nyo ay magiging negative. And then 32 and 4 will be 36. Next, 2 cube. So 2 cube is 2 times 2 times 2, which will be 8. Then, 2 square is 2 times 2. That's positive 4. Then, negative 4 times 2. That's negative 8. Copy, negative 4. Solve. 8 plus 4. That's 12. Then, minus 8. 
12 minus 8, that will be positive 4. Then, minus another 4. So, 4 minus 4, magiging 0 na siya. So, 0 ang sagot. Ibig sabihin, yung positive 2, kasama na din siya sa zeros or roots ng ating polynomial. Last one. How about this? So, negative 2 cube, that will be negative 2 times negative 2, positive 4 times another negative, magiging negative 8. Then, negative 2 square, that will be negative 2 times negative 2. It's positive 4. Ah, sorry, this one is negative. Again, negative 2 cube is negative 8. Then, negative 2 square is positive 4. Then, negative 4 times negative 2, that will be positive 8. And copy negative 4. Alright. Now, let's solve. So, as you can see, may dalawang 8 na magkaiba ng sign, so 0 na yan. Then, 4 and negative 4, magkaiba din ng sign, 0 na din, wala na matitira. So, the answer is 0. Now, ano-ano na yung mga roots or zeros ng ating polynomial? So, since ito ay 0, 0, 0, ibig sabihin, the roots of the given polynomial are, so, 0 dito, ibig sabihin, kasama ang negative 1. Then, 0 din to, so kasama ang positive 2. And same with this one, kasama ang negative 2. So, ito na yung roots ng polynomial na x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 4.